cemetery uh, commissioners meeting a cemetery meeting at four o'clock. I second the motion. Okay. All those, I guess we're, we both agree. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> okay. And this meeting is being recorded and broadcast via our local cable access channel, WCAT, Facebook, and YouTube. If anyone in the audience is recording, please let us know. How's that? Good job. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, opening the meeting. Use the minutes. It's on both sides. Minutes. Where is it? Most, no minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. It would be nice if I read it. I should yeah. highlight the word minutes. It's hard to no, no, find them. No. Everything's mixed in. Okay. I think I hear them. All right. Where do I sign? Make a motion to accept oh, the minutes. Oh, okay. I make a motion to accept the minutes. All, all those in favor? I, I second the motion. Okay. I, I okay. I, yep. Great. Okay. Yeah, just sign. And uh, did you sign both copies? Oh. One's for the town clerk and one's for our records. So. Okay. I just figured I'd save myself the trouble. No. I made a second copy. I'll just drop that on the door on the way by. Okay. Or I could have Jim do that. Jim wouldn't mind doing that for me. He's such a good guy. Accept review expenditures of balance accounts. Okay. We have a sheet there. Um, our last uh, expenditure was for um, 11 5 We wrote out a check for $250 for a burial that took place, on, a full burial that took place on October 23rd mm -hmm. for um, Wingston. So we are now down to a balance of four thousand three hundred five fifty one as of the fifth. Okay. So that's that's where we stand. I have not um, our perpetual account has not changed. There's still a lot of money in there. Uh, mm -hmm. We still have uh, we still have one hundred and forty eight dollars and no we still have um, a balance of seven hundred fifteen dollars. 14 cents mm -hmm. for the water line replacement. Jim, do you know if there's going to be any more need for that money? I believe the water line is all set at this time okay. uh, for everything. Because we're going to, I guess, at our next, I'll check before our next, mm -hmm. our meeting in yeah. May. And if we're all done, then we'll put that money back into that. Yeah, every account. everything's been online, everything's working. Yep. I really know. I used it, um, yep. Okay. Yeah, well, so we could do, it's, we can put that back. Um, at our next annual, it'll have to be um, have to be a motion, okay. an article. Okay. All right. Okay. Wonderful. Good. New uh, business. A resident complaint about the unleashed dog. Now you have copies. I took your text messages. Yes. Yeah. And she, there, I, there's yeah, a copy. That was from her. Uh huh. Yeah, and I just copied and pasted it. Okay, and it is. Uh, and I it is there. They're both it says forward Cindy Baxter. Yes. So you you have. What they said, we have what we have, and it'll be in our records. So. Oh, Steve Crystal. So, mm -hmm. uh, so I, she does, I've encouraged, this, uh, I don't know what her name is, Cindy Baxter. No, no, her name no it was not, it actually was yeah. not, her no. name was not visible on the emails. There was no received, name, so right? It was no just a resident. Oh, apparently. Right? You know, it's the same person that lives on Mechanic Street. It's that same person yeah. that had the issue before. Yes. That's mm -hmm. And, and I do have her name somewhere. Okay. I, yeah, do you I want me to look it up? Or? Yeah. I believe it was uh, Miss Broder. Was that Broder? Is that the name? <sighs> what did she send it to me? Oh, she sent it to me on Facebook. Well, if we don't know for certain who it is, it's probably not prudent to say. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so we can discuss uh, the topic the without top. mentioning I agree. Yeah. who the, it is. The person didn't come, so, or yeah. not here. She, I don't well, see her. Yeah, so her concern. Oh, it says right here what am I saying? So yeah. Her, her yeah, just go off the. Yeah, she's email. upset that there were people in the park with her dog. Oh, you can read it out loud for whoever's watching. Okay. Steve Crystal, I, I just wanted you, I just wanted to update you on your terrible decision to allow dogs in the cemetery. I took a walk through the the other day and encountered three people, and guess what? 
They, they were all there to walk their dogs. This is not a dog park, and by allowing dogs, you've created a place to bring dogs to defecate all over, which is very disrespectful and disturbing. Um, the first individual just moved to this area, had their two dogs. The second guy had his dog running loose, and he ran at me barking, and I felt unsafe. The, the person said he was allowed to be there, but his dog should be leashed although it was not leashed. Um, the person said he was, okay, uh, it was not leashed. The third person. The third person drives there, that's it. The third person drives there from across the town to walk his dog there every day. I'm requesting that the no dog be allowed signs be put back up and enforced. This is beyond out of control, and I'm seeing the dogs relieve themselves on gravestones. The minute it happens on one of my loved ones, it will be a bad day for everyone. Um, I'd like to say that, you know, bef when we had signs up that said no dogs mm -hmm. allowed, mm -hmm. there were dogs in there, you know. Mm -hmm. So having the signs up that say no dogs allowed isn't going to change the behavior. Mm -hmm. um, I think personally myself, if someone is there, like... Jim said, if someone is there and there's a dog running loose, they should call animal control or the police. Correct. So I would advise anybody that sees anything like that, not only to do that, but take a picture of the dog, mm -hmm. take a picture of the person that owns the dog. And, you know, and if you see a dog turning up on a gravestone, take a picture. We need to have some evidence. And then there's the enforcement issue. Jim, how would that work? How would the enforcement issue work? <laughs> You'd have to call the police. Well, well, yeah, you have to make yeah, yeah the police, yeah. and if there's bylaws and stuff that they can follow and find. Um, but unfortunately, this person I've encouraged yeah. this person, whoever it may be, to come here multiple right. times, sure. and um, I don't have an issue with the dogs walking on, on the leashes and stuff. And, and again, as long as they pick up after them, I don't, I, I don't have a problem. But that's just me. I, I don't want to speak for the other everybody else, but. I think it's, 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 and also having people there, it's another form of security. It is. Having and, people and that's there is another why form of I, security. I, I'm, I, I, but on the flip side of it, it's appalling if they defecate and, 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 and it's not picked up. I don't see much of that, but that's just me. Well, I got a letter from, I got an email from Jim. Yeah. It says, hello, just from a maintenance, and this is from Jim. Yeah. <laughs> hello, just from a maintenance standpoint, myself or crew has not come across yeah. any dog droppings within the cemetery lately that I could find. This mm -hmm. would be a hard thing to police as so many people have dogs. Only thing I can really think is we can possibly enforce if we see what someone, which I do, is tell the person to make sure the dog is on a leash. Yep. Yeah. So... We don't have a sign out front that says all dogs must be leashed. Do you think we should? Because we have one it that is, says... It is on the rule. It is on the rules. It is on the rules. It says uh, dogs must, must be, be on a leash leashed and, and clean up, yeah. clean up yeah. after the dogs. The, uh, the sign we used to have out front said park closed at dusk and yeah, no, dogs no dogs allowed. allowed. Mm -hmm. so which we got a new sign, which we got some signs made uh, that say dogs allowed, close at, close at dark. Okay. Uh, but they just haven't been put up yet. Um, you know, there's a place in Brookfield that makes, they make little, they, they make a lot of stuff, but I think they might even make a bumper sticker kind of thing. If you want, I can check into it, and we can maybe add to that sign, uh, dogs must be leashed, and just stick that on there, not make new signs. No, you know? but I don't, in my opinion, I don't think it's that big of an issue, and, and if the person can't take the time to come and speak with us, I have. I, if it, if, if I don't. I'd rather just table the discussion if, if, if that's the case. And believe me, I'm up there a lot. Not so much now in the winter, but I, it, I, I. The only one person, unfortunately, he would let his dog loose, and he's not. Unfortunately, he's, he's not around much. He's not feeling well, and he's the only person that that, that I've ever seen do that. Yeah. So I don't. I, want, I make a motion to table it until I, I want. I, I don't know that we need to table it. Okay. Okay. You know because also, we uh, can't leave it open ended in our agenda if they yeah. want to come out and make an appointment to talk to us, because Absolutely. I think I think we've done everything we can do mm -hmm. to make it clear that just make sure the, these documents here are filed. So oh, they will. The, the, yeah. These are so my. I, I have, wish I, I'm not going to do. I have no problem doing that. I have. Um, well. I have this right here, Jim, that's called our exhibits, yeah. and, this is, and they're right here inside the minutes, mm -hmm. okay. and 
uh, they will be in included in our minutes that we discussed it and that there was no one here yep. uh, with a complaint about that. And I do believe that trying to get the police to enforce and just naturally ride through there, I know we, we didn't get too far when I asked if we could have someone ride through just to make sure everything was okay. So having somebody from the police department ride through and, and police for dogs, I don't think it's yeah. realistic to ask for. No, but there could be other things going on there that we don't know about. But I mean, I'm just, maybe at, just before, people after work, maybe between five and before the sun goes down. Mm -hmm. I, but like I said, it's not, I'm up there a lot, you're up there a lot, I think you're up there, but I don't see much, think many things going on no. that warrants us to be crazy right, about it. Right. But I would, I, I'm going to put in the minutes yeah. that we suggest that anyone that has a problem Please, yeah. with dogs running loose to contact the, they can call the police off, yeah. police, yeah. and the and police they can, can call the cemetery line. Yeah. You know, I, I check that mess answering machine daily. There's well, my thought is if there's an animal right. running loose and someone is afraid, Absolutely. they should call the police yep. and let the police come right. out and handle that. Hmm. Right. Yep. And that, that's the best way to do it. You can't do it after the fact yeah. because putting up a sign isn't necessarily going to stop it. It never stopped uh, it before. Once the police have been called, it's been logged. You, can, yeah. you know, if it happens again and again right. and again. Right. But I, I, you know, she I doesn't respond to my person. Did this doesn't respond to me? And I said, please come to the meeting. Uh, I, I have no problem meeting. But that's you know, it's she. Well, you know, the fact is she reached out. Yeah, I know. She made her concerns known. And I understand that. Yeah, and we're do. doing our best to address yeah. it. And sometimes people just want to vent. Yeah. You know, yeah. when she's frustrated, and if somebody drives all the way across town, you know, maybe there's no place else for them to take their dog for a walk. It's a nice, peaceful place. And like Steve says, it's security. The more more people yeah, that are walking around rise. in there, the less there's a lot of There's a lot of people that take their dogs to the parks, to the cemeteries, everywhere. A lot of... Most so, people in town have some so we, type we, of pet, some kind of dog, and it's, you know, they take it to all the parks on nice days. And now we could, if you want to think about it, we can talk about it in another meeting, we could look into buying one of those bags that holds dis disposable the dog's pickup bags, if I, you I, want. I don't see it being an issue to, to warrant that right okay. now. I, okay. I, 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 but I, I, no, it's good thoughts, but no? I, I mean, I don't, please, I mean, if there's more than one, but I... I like I say, I... 26 acres, we mow it. Yeah, and I, and I don't very and I, come I across. I've never seen any in all the time I've been going out. I have more of the problems with other town properties yeah. with the mm -hmm. mowing and all right. So, and lots of fun. times I've seen I've seen stuff there, and it's not dog stuff. Mm -hmm. It's 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 wild. Fox. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's black. Rabbits and maybe and, and there's a point by you that could be maybe something that it, what she sees yeah. or deer or coyote. There's fox and that, everything in there. And maybe that's the Fox issue. and coyote, they actually look like what you would get from a dog, except for the coloration so, is, is black. So maybe, so maybe that's, that's what she's seen. seen. That's a great mm -hmm. point, yeah. And if she's seen yeah. one turning up on a gravestone, well, then she should take a picture of the dog, yeah. take a picture of the person, mm -hmm. and, you know, post it on Facebook. I saw this person and their dog in the cemetery, and they beat. I mean, yeah. you want to get their attention and let them know they're being seen. That's the that's okay. way to do it, not to... Because we can't do anything after the fact, but okay. So okay, thank you very well, much. Thank you. Um, yeah. uh, reconstruction of Section F sloped area to allow usage. I think we can should probably yeah. table that yeah. until, until he gets here. Yeah, yeah. until. Okay. Yeah. okay. Terrace slope for some no parking area at the bottom of Pine Snow. Uh, that's so we'll table all that old business. Paving. We need him here. Yeah. Uh, our teammate. Yep. Our, our fellow commissioner. Yep. Update on tree trimming. Well, I uh, spoke with Jeremy uh, a couple of days ago, and he did mention in coming weeks he's got uh, work being scheduled up there for the trees. Oh, good. So, so Rusty will be... It, it will be come within, within the next few weeks, starting. Okay. All right. Okay, got That's that. That's good. Good. Tree planting in Section D. Now, oh, I'm sorry. I had a thought when I was thinking about this, and, and I want to talk about it when Bill's here because I, I do think that if there's something that you guys want to come up with, we should just organize it and determine what you want to do in that section and just work on that. Where's section D? The section that, that we were up at. Remember our last meeting? Right. We, we the last meeting. Took a tour. Your, your wife is. 
Oh, she in D? I thought she was an F. No, D is the next one. You're, you're an F. Yeah. And, and, D then, D, the and then an E. Yeah, so what, are they, what so, do we need so in if, D? So oh. if you want to, if we want to look into that, I think we should have a good discussion on, you know, just exactly where we want to go with it, what you want to do, yeah. what is, where the plot line is, mm -hmm. and then kind of work forward to, mm -hmm. to spring. But I had a thought about where you have those, uh, where we have those cement barriers to keep people from going the wrong way down there at the bottom of... Uh, oh, that's uh, down by the flagpole. Down by the yep. flagpole. Now, I know the barriers are working, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking, and Steve, what do you think if we maybe put some rhododendrons or some plantings there that would have some size to oh, them gosh. and eventually we could either hide, and that would hide those barriers or eventually we could move those barriers. But what happens, the only concern, that's an excellent idea, the only concern is what happens is an emergency and a fire truck has to go around there, they're going to mow over everything. Well, they're already going to damage their vehicle on the, well, yeah, on the no, barrier. I know, just, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's in yeah. the same spot as I the have barriers. No, I, I, anytime we can put any kind of barriers, mm -hmm. I, naturally I'm all for it. So yes, I agree 100% on that well, one too. Planting of, should you say planting of some kind of bushes? Yeah, something there that, that yeah. you know, rhododendrons are really easy to manage. You can just square them up or do nothing with them. I, 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 I know. Just because I, there's nothing right there that's going to be damaged, right? There's no no grave that we need no, to worry that, about. That sole, that uh, slope there has got no graves on it. Uh, that's why we kind of put that. Okay. All right, so let's, let's discuss it. I mean, it. it wouldn't be no spring, but absolutely. Anything we can do to... Mm -hmm. Beautify it. I'm okay, so so we can we can get an idea about how large an area you want to do it, depending on there's different kind of rhododendrons. Some of them grow. I've got one in my yard that's like I don't know three and a half feet wide by six feet tall. Mm -hmm. You know, so maybe a couple like that size here and there. You just decide what you think, and we'll put them in. We'll leave the barriers there until they get established in the okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I just think that would be a better option. I have no than the Anytime we can plant something so much, and make it look nice, it would look, would look prettier. Yeah. So. Okay. okay. Got it. So we got to plan on that when he's here. We just want to go plan on it when. Oh uh, well, I, I think that it wouldn't be a problem for us to to make a motion to do that in the springtime. Yeah. You know, you know, coordinate it with Jim. Yeah. But up in that other section, I really think it probably should be the. We should all discuss what we should do that way. Okay. If we don't have a meeting of the mind, that's why you have three people. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can, you know, if there's a dispute, then it'll be settled because they'll, they'll always be two that agree with each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think I think Jim needs time to take a good look at that yeah, area. Let's get, get a permanent Jeremy. And, where he thinks it and see what's feasible. See what you think should go in there. How many should go in They're there? Kind of what they yeah. what they would be? Because it would be nice if you know Steve's already started it. If we're not going to interfere with any graves. Yeah. And we'll have to decide who we need to notify. Yeah. You know. Like I said, on that hill there, there's really no graves to okay. worry okay. about. All right. So All right. I'm 100% so behind it. Okay. kind of be a, an okay place if you wanted to plant a bush or some, say someone wanted to donate a bush or okay. something right. for that area. Okay. So let's plan on that. Or maybe... So in our next meeting, yeah. we'll, 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 I'll put that back on the table. In the meantime, all of Jim, this. if you can investigate yeah. what, what uh, if you take a quick ride up there, what his thoughts are, you know. Okay, so we can table planting the tree in section D along with all the other old business. Yep. Um, and we'll just bring that up again, and only this time we'll have some ideas on exactly where we are with mm -hmm. what we're going to do. And, you know, and if we don't get it done at the next meeting, we can just carry it over. Okay, but okay. I, I like it. Anytime we can put okay. it. All right. Uh, update on the Eagle Scout plaque. So really did, we, did we make a motion on oh, yeah, the, the bush, putting bushes down at the, down there at the, um, by the flagpole, by the barriers? I thought we'd table it until next meeting. That one we don't have to. We oh. can if you want to. No, I, I, I... Yeah, well, since we agree, why don't we just make a motion? So you're looking to put something, some yeah. type of bush, but you're going to talk about it further. And then I'm going to look at some different types of ideas yeah. and stuff. Okay. I make a motion that we that we um, put some... I make a motion that we plant some bushes down by the barriers... To make it... That are beautiful. redirecting the traffic. Correct. And... And we would coordinate that with Jim. We'll discuss again just what we put in, but mm -hmm. I make a motion that we do end up hiding those barriers ah. behind bushes. 
Is, and, and would there be any kind of safety? I'm sorry to interrupt. I second the motion, but really quickly, would there be any safety issues that by doing that or? Well, they're softer. It, it, than it's going to be. The uh, it's going to. You're going to eventually see a bush. You yeah. know. Okay. No, no. That's why I as the bush, the okay. it maybe keep the barriers there another year. Yes. I, yeah. I, you know, just, okay. just a couple seasons. Yep. Yep. See okay. what it does. Yeah. All right. Update on the Eagle Scout plaque. Well, St um, let me finish writing. Oh, so I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Do barrier um, by bushes to be coordinated. I haven't sent you, I haven't sent off to Mass Corps um, the request for the Sorry. sign. Okay. okay, so well, I haven't done that, but just he, said you can send it right to me. Okay. But he gave us a measurement. Yeah, so all I need is what is the measurement now? 24, 24 by 24. 28 at least, my 40. Is that a standard size? Well, that. Uh, you want something that will fit within that. So 24 by 24 will so fit. All I need so I need all yeah. I need from you is you could send it to my email. That's what we talked about yeah. the size yeah. of 24 so by 24. All I need from you is to say Steve yep. you want to order one 24 yep. by 24 what what the verbiage is on it yep. and what color white background okay. blacking okay. white background red. We talked about a flag in the background because the color for okay red, is Put, red white and blue. Yep. So but I'll send that to you. Say, say Steve could we get a flag in the background and then I'll see yeah and they'll, and they'll do a proof other than one person yeah. Now, how big do you want the? I mean, twenty-four. That's a pretty good size sign. Yeah. Do, do they make one that's less so that it doesn't have? I don't know. You we, might end up having a whole bunch of empty space. Do you want a smaller? No, they'll make the whole. They'll make everything. Mm. Everything be in that. Yeah, but you don't want it to be larger than the printing on the sign itself. The printing on the map itself. Well, Maybe. we could we say it, and they'll do a proof prior to making it. Unless you, I, I go smaller. Hello, Let me turn this off. I just mind. Okay. So send me the email. And I'll get the proof, and, and, and we'll ask for the proof. Okay. It's not that expensive. I don't think I. Can no, it's it. not. But it's <laughs> just that I'm wondering. You know, you've got mm -hmm. like I think there's. There are not all that many names. I'll put I'll put the lingo together, but there really aren't all that many names. So I'm thinking you don't want the letters to be this big. All right, what's you it? know you don't want to fill you know. Well, there's different size. What what different size signs do you guys usually sell? Yeah, do you do a 24 by 18? Yeah, absolutely. So, so maybe we'll eight, try yeah. two proofs. Maybe a 24 by 24 and a 24. Well, you know by they 18. won't do the proof unless you order it. Uh, oh, well, they yeah, but you can you can show us a picture of what no, it looks yeah. like. No, well, we're right? gonna we'll do the first one and then yeah and then uh, see how it looks. Okay. I have connections. 18, 18 by 24 maybe is a Yeah, because that, that would be, oh, that, you know, that wouldn't. You want 18 by 20? That's, that but, might be, that might work just perfect. fine. Perfect, let's just do that. It's going to have okay. holes drilled in it. Like yeah, I say, eight, eight, smaller, it yeah. Because so yeah, it'll, be, it'll be shorter. So 18 yeah. by 24. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So put that in, and then mm -hmm. the, if we don't like it when the proof's sent to you, then here we go. Okay. Let me, I'm going to tell you how many names are on there because there aren't many names really when you to fill up a sign that large. No, it's a good. Um, and I mean, you want it to be, you know, you want it to look fitting to the sign and not, mm -hmm. you know, look really huge. Let me see. Let's see. It says Eagle Scouts Cameron, and then finished November 21st. Troop number. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Names? Eleven names. So that might be, that's a lot of names. No, not that. Okay. Not really. Okay. Think about it. I mean, if you make them a, if you don't make them as big as street sign names. Okay. You know, I would think if you make, the, if you make each name this big, you know, how big is that? Like an inch tall? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we do it, though, it's critical that we check the spelling of the, the okay. inmates make the mistakes all the time on spelling. So when, when I must be an inmate because I do too. I do too. So when we do that, and we'll do 18 by 24, we'll possibly put an American flag in the background. Yep. And then, um, and what color you want it, white background, red letters. 
I, <laughs> Jim, what color do you think the letters should be? I think that you think probably black, a black. Black letters. Especially if yeah. you're going to put a color back yeah. to it. Okay. So it'll be a flag background. Black letters. Do you only make one style of letter? There's do you, probably do you different do fonts cursive you do, or, right? or, or, or what do you call them? Like angled letters, or all they all just. We can do anything them. you want. And so you do. do I, I've never had that request, but I'm pretty sure we can. Well, I'm just thinking because it's different. So I don't know. Well, I'll think about it. I'll uh, send you. I'll send you. Send me the my request thoughts. to my you know, my state email or my personal one. I can forward. It's not a big deal. There's yeah, no. I've you know? got your personal one, yeah. so maybe we'll just whatever's do that. easier for you. But I'll put the quote in. You sign and date it, and then we will go from there. Okay. Is that All right. And I will get that to you so that we'll have it for our next meeting. So we shouldn't be a big deal mounting that to, to hang by a couple of brackets underneath the sign. Do you want to hang it from the current sign there? Yeah. What do you well, think? Can we have a move like The, the only thing, yeah, it might, it might swing. Yeah. But maybe we could make some kind of anchor below it. Would it hurt it to swing? Might wear the metal. Well, yeah, might. Uh, yeah. In wind, heavy wind. wind. Yeah, heavy well, wind. Well, we don't have to do it that way. Whatever way you think it would be the yeah. best to mount it, we'll leave okay. it at that. They'll so, have poles on both sides. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Community concerns for our next meeting agenda. So much going on. Oh. Oh. We need to talk about the superintendent report. And oh, it wasn't yeah. on here. And yeah, yeah, it's up, yeah, it's underneath Pine you missed and this And this guy oh blowing, his, uh, so sorry. blowing yes. his leaves. Well, I, got, um, well, I guess we can talk about that. That's, I apologize. That, that, that just approach, that, that approach today. Mm -hmm. um, Saw the new picture. Yes. Actually, the, uh, I believe the police I are possibly so working sorry. on it, too. Yeah. So this occurs every year. Uh, after we clean up this section, we spend in this section down by Pine Grove Drive. There's a lot of hills, a lot of pockets of leaves and stuff. Um, almost the crew spent pretty close to a week cleaning up that area. And usually after that, this guy, uh, neighbor decides to blow his leaves through the fence and then kind of leave them in the cemetery. Um, well, can we put a, like a barrier on the other side of it, like a, a, a wind fence, when you have a drifting fence? Well, it, I actually brought yeah, some, yeah. and I sh should have brought it in. I bought brought some netting material that I put over mm -hmm. my trees to keep the uh, the uh, birds off my blueberries. And the hole is like maybe a quarter of an inch mm -hmm. or so big. You can take, we could take and probably, if he's blowing it through the fence, yeah, then you could I'm attach saying. these with well, zip ties, yeah. and that would keep it through the this fence. Seems to, I, it, I'm not sure if a letter or something got wrote to this no, individual last, last year. I, no, last year or, we talked about it, okay. and I told my husband that we had discussed writing a letter, but it was mm -hmm. like, no, we don't, we don't want to upset the guy, so mm -hmm. we never wrote the letter. Okay. What, what so, house is it? The, isn't it? I believe the red it's one? 26 Pine Grove Drive. I so think. the red one, the last house. On it's the if you're going up the hill. Yeah. Uh, the last house on the right. Across from where Fran lived, right? Yep. Yep. But right before, right where they, they started the water line, right in front of his place. Has anybody ever talked to him? He's never really out there much. I don't no. really see him. I never so, see him. Um, so maybe we should even take and consider. Since this is, and he knows what he's doing. Hmm. And if you put up any netting, he's going to blow over it, no doubt. Maybe we ought to consider taking and putting some, um, some what do you call that, uh, stockade fencing along there. Yeah, I doubt we have They're it. not that expensive, but, stockade yeah. fencing. Do we know it's him, though? Well, he's uh, the only someone house. from that property. Someone from it's, that property, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's, it's not a contractor. It, it, I believe you it's. You should have the picture on your phone yeah. of the area. Yeah. I just saw it somewhere. Okay. There's been a lot more in the past years, but this is still, you know, we spent hours and hours cleaning up that area. So, so the, you have an alternative. You can either wait until the end of the season when it's all there mm -hmm. and do it once, or we can put up a stockade, stockade fence. 
because the guy's not probably not going to stop doing or it. We do, we send him a, or we send him a letter. I don't, I don't know, care if we I, aggravate him. I don't him. know if we know who he is to send him a letter. And if he doesn't care about the letter, you know, yeah. what, what good is that going to do? How are you going to enforce it other than... I mean, the police can go down there and say, you know, you shouldn't be doing this, but... Yeah, I, I, I think, to me, personally... I think what we need to do is just stop it by stopping it. Putting up, you know, those sheets of stocking yeah. fence aren't that expensive. Maybe figure out how much how much we need. And we can always hook that to the chain link fence that's there. I like the other bit idea you had first. The netting? That's cheaper. And it is. Well, is what I'll do is for the next meeting I can, uh, yeah. I'll measure that amount of fence from, to cover something, if you wish to but cover I something. I mean, I have the netting that I have left over in the back of my car. Before you leave, you can take what I have, try mm -hmm. that out with some zip ties, mm -hmm. because you think he'll do it. He'll well, what it is, sometimes, you know, there's spaces under the fence that it'll blow. Mm -hmm. But if you put another fence through this chain link fence, and there'll be a gap, then it could well, leave leaves you tucked it, in not there. Not if you hook it right to the you know, chain link fence. The other, other option is there way of putting, you know, that plastic thing that slides into chain link fence. I don't know if you've ever seen no. that. Um, no. I don't know if there's maybe different options to look at, but I would say the heart of the problem is to try to make contact with this and send uh, a letter, send, uh, yeah, I, I have, have someone from the town, more of official-wise, speak to him maybe. Uh, I don't think he realizes. He knows he realizes, but I don't know if he knows. You know, if, 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 clean it up and then... If, he, if, he, if, if he's working on his yard... Cleaning it up and it ends up in the cemetery. Just over at the end of the day, come yeah. come back. Yes, I agree. And, and, and take and care think, of your mess. I think a, a simple conversation would be. Uh, so how do we find out the person's name? Um, you not going to I don't know if we want to look it up on the uh, assessors there, okay. the town. Yeah. I can. I can. Yeah, maybe yeah. I can figure it out. Yeah, we'll just get a simple letter, please. In a nice uh, those, way. Uh, please don't be blowing the leaves. I know okay. those uh, register books there that the yeah. clerk has. Maybe okay, we I'll can put it to a letter yeah. together for our just next really, meeting. Just really, yeah, really nice. Yeah. You know, see, so listen, just FYI, please be aware that, you know, we clean this, we spend a lot of hours in the cemetery. If you can be cognizant of the fact not to be blowing after we okay. into the cemetery. Okay, and, so I'll put a letter together yeah. next for our next meeting. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'll also make a second letter. That will just go out in the springtime, or or let's say the beginning of fall, mm -hmm. just as a reminder that we appreciate that you don't mm. spray. The I would do it like next September. Yeah. Okay. So we'll yeah. do one now, and then we'll do one next. So I have to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We all agree. Okay. It works. Um, you want to make a motion? I I like to make a motion to uh, send a, a letter to the resident last head resident on the right on Pine. Twenty six. You can say twenty six Pine Grove. Twenty six right. Pine Grove about uh, not doing the leaf blowing into the cemetery after it's been completed and advising him of this. Anybody second? I second. Okay. I agree. I second it too. I third it. And then if that doesn't work, we'll go for yeah, it. Yeah, I, I just think maybe, you know. And in the meantime, we can still, even next year, we can still put that, I'll give you that stuff. Yeah. So that you can put yeah. that there anyway. Can't Might be a, a spot out front by that older gate that I want to, Try that because the leaves just come across the road and yep. that would blow everywhere. Doesn't he have any, any woods next to him that he can blow it in? No, I don't think. Not really. That's that's the that's, I know. that's the thing, you know. Yeah, I get it. It's it's, it's weird area. I know it is. Have to, okay. Um, okay. Next thing I have, uh, most of the other leaf cleanup in the cemetery wide is going good. We got our leaf vac truck and good blowers and mm -hmm. everything's going good there. Um, and then, um, someone came to me looking for a grave family member next to someone else previous there. Um, and I have a four grave lot, which is lot 26. Um, but we started the next row using number 29 and going up. I was hoping to keep this for a four grave but this has already been a couple of years. Um, more people are looking just for a single, two, whatever. So I'm thinking of possibly taking this 26 and breaking it into letters, A, B, C, D. Mm. Um, I don't know if that would, what do you guys think about that? 
it would just say yeah. on the deed, it would say lot F26A. And the per okay, so and the purpose of this would be? Allow him to sell one or two. Yes, so allow it to sell before. one so it's next to previous person. Next to the previous person. So the only question it's, is, we don't have that many fours. Couldn't we sell that person a single? Oh, they want to be. They, near, they want to be right next to that. Uh, no, I guess. Yes. I believe there's, I believe 27 is still open, which is a four, but that might occur, eventually occur too to this. Right. Because um, like I say, people are coming just to buy one, you know. I hate, I, my only concern is I hate to give up a four, but I understand they want to be next to their loved one. I, well, I, you know, I, I, I understand that point. People aren't burying like they used to. No. Now they're yeah. cremating and you can put four people in one lot. So. Yeah. And, and someone could, you know, if this person doesn't want that, I, but I believe she, they do. Um, someone might want three, and we could tell twenty, but it would still say twenty six A or twenty six B. Um, it's basically just a number with a letter. I, yeah, no, I, don't, um, I don't really have a problem. I don't on have the a problem. D. With that. So yeah. I'd like to make a motion that uh, Jim would be allowed to uh, break section twenty six F to twenty six A B C D to hopefully mm -hmm. allow that nice person to be near their loved ones. Yes. Okay. I second the motion. There. Okay. And then I worked on uh, fixing a few small stones way down on the older section. Uh, kind of stood them back up, so mm -hmm. cleaned them off a little bit. Uh, as time goes on, I have time for that. That makes me happy. So, little by little, uh, that when I see something, I can fix, mm -hmm. stand up. and um, The tree on the water tank, that's mm -hmm. on... Uh, Jeremy's list to be taken care of, or Rusty's okay, list, good. so that should be soon. Uh, the water was turned off yesterday, mm -hmm. all drained off. Um, we should be all set. Um, the water tanks have been picked up, been, so hopefully they don't have to ever come back. Um, and then the other thing I had was, uh, I know we used to sometimes take down the flags for the winter. I 100% agree. On the flagpole, Absolutely. do you guys want to have me remove it, say December first or so? I do it. I mean, yeah, December first. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I make a motion that Jim takes kind the flags down on save December first. I don't know about the South Warren one. I don't know if you want to check. Is that eighty bucks? Is it so? That's Sylvia Silver bucks, Bar okay. but and I, that's, I maybe you want to check with her. Make sure I know people see that one more, but the Pine Grove one is kind of tucked away. And how is that flag one. holding up? Uh, very good. Okay. But, and that's why if we uh, take, take it down, in for the winter, I think it's a wonderful. I would, I would go with just to take the other one down the other summer. Just if somebody's upset, let's make. I make a motion to take both flags down. So okay, so yeah. make both a motion flags. to take yeah. both the South Warren. And yeah, absolutely. Keep, without yeah. even, if do you Mrs. want me to? Buck, I'll send this. Just maybe location. just advise her yeah. because all of a sudden, if it disappears, yeah. Oh yes, she um, she'll reach yeah, out. No, so, I, I yeah. just think it's a wise idea. You're going to get more wear and tear out of it. Yeah. You know, the winter winds and whip yeah. it, you know. Yeah, no, 100%. Okay, we'll store them. Yeah. Probably store them up in the office. Yeah. Night, you know, okay, no, but that's, yeah. Fold it up. And let me know if they're breaking apart because you sell flags. I second the motion. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. All right, so that will, that will occur. We'll do that around December 1st or so. Okay. Um, and then the tomb will be set for uh, winter, bear, uh, winter storage if needed. Checked that the other day. It seems to be in good shape. Uh -huh. um, and then uh, that South Warren, uh, we'll probably do one more little clean up there with leaves and hoping to get up there with our new roadside brush mower and go around the perimeter of it and the stone wall. Let's see if we can get up in there. You got a new roadside brush mower? Well, the, the, what, what machine is that from? The, you get? the, uh, the uh, trackless. Oh, where, where'd that come from? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try to let's see if that machine fits in inside. No, that's great. And, it's uh, wonderful having that. I seeing, don't know. Uh, seeing, seeing what it can do you up did there. Did a nice job on Dunham Road, cutting back. I yep. like it. Yep, so that road got done yeah. with that machine. Yep. I asked Jeremy to do the, the Lily's Road, but he wouldn't do that. That was the one side road that's really overgrown, bad, bad. Yeah. And that and that's a that's for the tower. He, he refuses to do it. Yeah, no, yeah, we can go up there, yeah. That'd be, no, it would be to open it up, you know. Yeah. It is a town room. Anyways. Yeah. All right. Um, next meeting. <clears throat>
And now we're in the tricky season with, you know, but we'll, well see. Well, do, do you think we need to have a meeting in December? I, I, I don't see it. Maybe wait till next year. Yeah. Have January. one in January. Yeah. And we can always get together if it's an emergency. Because I have the board's given me the authorization to sign bills, so we don't yeah. have okay. to unless unless mm. there's an emergency. Mm. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm sure that Bill wouldn't think that was such a bad idea. <laughs> if something comes up, yeah. we can always put one together. Yep. Yeah. So I'd like Before to make that. it when second or third Sunday, yeah. Sat Sunday, geez, Sat. Well, do you, have, do you have a calendar in front of you? Let's see if we go, how far that goes. Does this uh, give us uh, January of next year? Yes, it does. Just make sure do it's I on. Can, uh, do you want to continue on Tuesday? Yeah, absolutely, I have no problem with that. The 14th? Yep. Okay. So I'd like to make a motion to set our next meeting for Tuesday, the 14th of Jan January 2025 at 4 p.m. You second that? I second that. <laughs> Okay. With you know, with the understanding that something comes up. Oh, goodness gracious! Uh, yes, up. absolutely. We'll okay, very good. Okay, I'd like to make a motion at 4:43, 4:42 to end the meeting. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned. Okay. And uh, Jim, I haven't forgot what you brought up at. The